It might be easy to think of a performance as a one-way type of interaction where the singers or the dancers are doing all the stuff and the audience members are not doing anything at all. When in reality, the performers and the audience members at the same time are experiencing this thing called the performance. And as performers, sometimes the way that we engage our audience, the way that we connect with them can be just as important as how well we sing or what moves we do on stage. Now, there are many different ways that we can engage our audience. There's one very direct method that's called audience participation. And that's where we get the audience to be part of the actual performance. And that's what we're going to be talking about today in A Minute on Music. We're going to learn how to play a game with the audience. I like to use my song Brush, Brush, Brush to do this. I'm going to show you how to use that song to play the Brush, Brush, Brush game and how to invite your audience to play along. I'll show you all the steps and then we'll have a chance to practice in the end. Step number one, let's engage the audience with a question. Something like, Hello, does anybody here like to play games? And then you can raise your hand to indicate to the audience that if they do like to play games, that they should raise their hand. And then we'll take a moment to look around. And when we notice that some of them are raising their hands, we can say, Great, then we have the perfect song for you. Now that seems to me like a very engaging way to introduce a song. Step two, let's tell the audience what's gonna happen. This next song is not just a song, it's also a game. It's called Brush, 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 and we'd like to play it with you. First, we have to teach you the song. So get your hands and voices ready and repeat after the soloist. Step number three, the soloist or soloists teach the song one line at a time. The music teacher can give the starting note or phrase. Wake up in the morning. Wake up in the morning and a brush, brush, brush. Again, this is done one line at a time. So when the soloist is done singing that line, we want the rest of the chorus to repeat the singing and the hand motions. This will help the audience to know when and how to repeat. Let's give it a try. Tegan will be the soloist and little Steve will be the audience. It'll sound something like this. Wake up in the morning and a brush, brush, brush. Wake up in the morning and a brush, brush, brush. Then we can repeat that process for each line of the chorus until the audience knows all the lines. So when we get to that final line, I get to go to school today, then we're ready to put the whole thing together. Which brings us to step five, sing the whole chorus. All right, let's put the whole thing together now. Wake up in the morning and I brush, brush, brush. All right, now we're ready for the game. Woohoo! But we're not ready to play yet. Remember, we the performers are running the show, so it's important that we explain the game and we do so in a clear way so that the audience knows exactly what we want them to do. So that's step six, explain the game. Now we're ready for the game. Here's how it works. We're gonna take out some of the words. First, we're gonna take out brush, brush, brush. So we're gonna sing all the words except Step number seven, play the game. All right, as Tegan explained, in this first round, we wanna take out the words brush, brush, brush. Let's give it a practice right now. So get your hands ready, and it'll look and sound something like this. Wake up in the morning and I comb my hair and eat my mush. Blow a kiss and I'm on my way. I get to go to school today. How'd that go? Good? Great. All right, for the next round, we wanna make it harder. So we're gonna take out some more words and we can do that in one of two ways. The first way is we can decide ahead of time that for round two, we'll always take out the same phrase. For instance, we could take out the phrase, eat my mush. And we can explain to the audience that this time through, we will not sing and we will still not sing. The other way that we can take out words is we can ask the audience for a suggestion. Ooh more audience participation. Yes. 
So after the first round, we can say, does anyone here have an idea of other words that we could take out from the song? When someone raises their hand, we can call on them, and whatever phrase they say will be the next words that we take out from the song. For instance, yes, you, sir. I get to go to school today. Sure, we can do that. So this time through, we'll take out the words, I get to go to school today, and we will still not sing brush, brush, brush. Let's give it a shot. Wake up in the morning and I comb my hair and eat my mush, blow a kiss and I'm on my way. And we can continue on round after round, taking out more and more words until we decide to take out all of the words. And that will be the last round where we won't sing any of the words, but we'll do all of the hand motions. And once we get done with that round, we'll go right into singing the bridge of the song. And then we'll go into singing the final chorus. For the final chorus, we'll bring back all of the words, we'll still be doing the hand motions, and we'll encourage the audience to sing along with us. It's a great way to end the song and end the game. So now you know how to play brush, brush, brush with your audience. Practice, practice, practice it. And when you're ready, take it to the performance and it'll help you take your performance to the next level. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on A Minute on Music.